Hello, my name is Jonathan Hodel with CloudPoint Geographics here to talk about uh, topology and ArcGIS specifically for water distribution. So we're going to go ahead and get started here and uh, open up our Arc map. Um, to do this you're going to need um, the standard uh, license to be able to accomplish this. So uh, what we've got here is a water distribution network in the local government model and we're going to come over here to Arc Catalog and we're going to right click and go to new and topology and it opens up the wizard and if we uh, step through the wizard here we will show you we've got to select our feature classes that we're going to run this topology on and basically topology is a set of rules uh, connectivity rules for our different uh, feature classes and so I'm selecting hydrants, valves, mains and laterals for our water and you can rank them by importance here. Um, I've already created rules for the sake of time. I'm going to go ahead and load those. Um, and we can you can look at these and walk through them. Basically the different rules of overlapping or must connect to, uh, must not have dangles. Um, so all these plenty of different rules you can come up with on your own, but these are the ones I'm going to use for this tutorial. Go ahead and click next and we're going to finish and it's creating the topology um, on these feature classes. Now it's going to ask us if we want to validate that. So we're going to go ahead and click yes. What it's doing when it validates is basically running those rules on these feature classes and it's going to give us a list of errors or locations where the topology um, where those rules are not met. So as you can see on the right hand side here we've got the topology created. Um, we're going to go ahead and bring that over into arc map and it asks us if we want to add the feature classes with the topology but I'm going to say no because we already have those in the map and you can see here, see here we've got several errors here and let's just go ahead and identify some of those errors we're going to have to start the editor in order to bring up our topology toolbar right here at the top and you can see here we have the water distribution topology the new one recreated over here and I'm going to open up the last box, it's called Error Inspector over here. I'm going to open that up and down at the bottom of the screen you can see the Error Inspector and if I do a search it's going to search the current extent for errors and I've got 106 errors in this extent. And if we take a look at a few of them, a lot of them are dangles, it just means uh, it's the end of the water main. Um, those we can mark as exceptions. If we scroll down, find some different errors, this point must be covered by line, so it's a hydrant must be covered by a lateral line, that hydrant is actually on a main. So that one's okay, I'm going to mark that as an exception also. If we go down to another one, uh, must be covered by endpoint, um, looks like a system valve here. What we can do is right click and zoom to, or you can pan to. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in to about 250. And here we see um, that we've got an error here and so if we look at that you can see that that is not necessarily on the water main itself the valve is a little bit off there so I'm gonna go ahead and insert a vertex and I'm actually gonna put that right along the valve and after we fix these what we want to do is validate it so this button here is gonna value, validate the topology within the current extent so as I run that um, you can see that um, it looks like that air is still there for us on this particular occasion. Um, but we'll go ahead and we're going to go back and to our former screen here and we're going to run this again and look at some of the other errors uh, that we might have. So if we again you can right click, pan to, and zoom to and uh, if we zoom in go ahead and see what our errors are here. Okay, in this particular situation we don't have a lateral connecting to the main from the hydrants. Um, so it just kind of gives you an idea of what the usefulness of topology is. It points out all these errors and in future videos um, I will show you some tools uh, on how to fix these errors. Um, for this particular one let's go ahead and fix this error. Uh, we're going to put in 6 inch PVC from this hydrant to the valve and then we're going to put in uh, another line to the main. And again the reason this works, um, these tools are very useful especially in this case we're using the local government model uh, which you can see over here 
and there's a lot of really useful tools if you build your data uh, within the local government model parameters um, that are quite useful. So let's go ahead and validate this topology here now and you can see that that error for the valve disappeared. We still have the dangle error which we can go ahead and remove that mark it as an exception. And the point must be covered by line is another error we're going to have. Um, if we revalue validate that and we can mark that as an exception. So you can go through these in just a way to clean up your data and uh, in particular you need to do this before you create a geometric network. Um, we'll go through that. We'll go through some of the tools for the water network editing uh, toolbar in future videos. Thank you.